All right, we got the first one open. It is so hard. See, it's glued. It's glued in there on the outside. And um, if you have seen my last video, I explained what we are doing here. And see, the plastic clips are broken now. We have to put this panel in the garage now to measure the diodes because um, as soon as there's light on the panel, it won't measure correctly anymore. You can have false positive readings then because of the voltage applied to the panels. One nine nine, two oh six, two oh three. Interestingly, I can measure something the other way around as well. One point four volts. Yeah, I'm still on the first panel I cracked open, and I cannot measure anything in reverse of the diodes, but I can measure something over here on this panel which we just cracked. So does this mean we're already onto something? See, that's correct. And the other way around is still 1.4. Why is this happening? There should be zero. 1.5. Why is this bloody backlight turning on only for five seconds here? See, 1.5. That's correct. That is wrong. So do we have a faulty diode here? Have we found it already? Guys, welcome back to another episode here from the off-grid garage. What am I doing? Right? What am I doing? That is insane. All right. So if you have seen the last video, you have to watch it before you continue watching this one. We have cracked open this connection box here at the back of this panel and measured the diodes on here and could see there's current flowing in one direction, but not in the other one, which is totally correct. But I cannot see this with this panel. Here we can measure the current in the correct way. And we've got a voltage drop of 0 0.2 volts. But in the other direction, we, can st we still have a voltage drop. So there's current flowing. Something is not right with this panel, obviously, or the diodes. OK, we have to figure this out. Yes, definitely something wrong here. Yeah, 0 0.2 volts, correct direction. 0 0.2, correct. 0 0.2, correct. So if I reverse them now, the probes, 1.4 volts, 1.58, 1.49. See, this is not happening with this panel at all. There's nothing flowing in the other direction, but over here it is. So do we have three faulty diodes in here? That would be insane. I found something. <laughs> you won't believe it. Okay, so this is the third panel here I've cracked open. You can see my diode tester here. It just needs to... There you go. Yep. So you can see the voltage here. So when I test these diodes, yeah, that's correct, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Perfectly fine, right? If I reverse the cables, 1.9, 1 1.6, 0. So this last diode here acts exactly as all the diodes in the first panel I cracked open. They don't have any reverse current at all. This one of the second panel, they all have reverse current. Two of these three diodes have reverse current. The third one doesn't. Do we have panels with faulty diodes on the roof? Okay, let's do some thinking here. So obviously, if you have a faulty diode, there is current not only flowing this way, but also this way. So you are operating one of your strings, of your cell strings inside the panel in a short. You're producing electricity here and it flows through your diode, through your faulty diode, 
back to the negative and then gets produced again and go back to the negative. And if you have this twice and only this one works, you get obviously less power out of these two strings and the third one works. And if you have three of them, well, no wonder there's current missing. Wow, that is insane, right? I did not expect that, really not. And the problem is, as I showed you in the last video, I actually cannot measure this from the outside. I have to crack open all the junction boxes now. I'm actually getting good at it. See, this one, this one did not come up and the box, well, I broke all the plastic clips. But this one came up straight away nicely. So, faulty, faulty, okay. All of them are faulty. I probably need to get the third one off the roof as well. Huh? Well, and as I showed you in the last video, you cannot measure this from the outside world here. You can measure the correct flow of current through all the three di diodes and it shows you three times 0 0.2 volts. But the reverse current always shows zero because the voltage drop is so high. See, we've got 1.5 volts per faulty diode here. And this times three is 4.5. And the meter cannot show this anymore. It shows OL because the voltage drop is so high. It, it would be unusual high for a diode. So that's why the meter, uh, why the tester doesn't work anymore. Not the meter, the tester. But that is interesting. Holy crap. So I have now taken a photo of this diode in these um, connection boxes of the solar panels. It's a B1545G. And I looked this up here. So this means actually 15 amps and 45 volts. And we have, and we have actually two diodes in this case of the diode. They are in parallel. And this is exactly the one we have soldered in here. So you can see the solder at the top. So I managed to solder the broken contacts together again here. Nice thick soldering on both sides. This is all good to go. All three diodes are working fine correctly. And I have also crimped brand new MC4 connectors on these cables here. So this panel is tested and good to go. Faulty, faulty. And this is a new one which I just took from the um, stack we picked up on Friday. And we've got two working diodes and one faulty in the middle. It, this one shows reverse current as well. So I'll go and pick the next panel and see if we are lucky. You cannot measure this externally at all. You need to open the junction box and measure each diode individually. What a pain in the ass. See, that's what the installers usually do. They just cut the cables and get the panels off. But it doesn't mean they have tested anything or this panel is faulty or something. It just saves them time. Not me. Yes, yes, we found another one where all three diodes are correctly working and have no reverse current. Yes. Okay, my friends, I've got the two panels here, which have no faulty diodes, connected them in series, serious series, and they're coming with a positive and negative cable here under the dog. And I have actually extended the cables here. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what do you want here? Hey, <laughs> what do you want? I've got extended the cable because seven meters is not enough. 10 meters is good, but 15 meters is even better. So we now have 15 meters of cable running here. And we will connect this to our solar charge controller here. I've got the negative already plugged in. So we can sense 52.4 volts. We are at around 80% state of charge. So I'm just showing this again so people don't comment again. Your battery might be full. We are at 74% state of charge. Still charging the vehicle. And we now will plug in the positive cable as well. We've got, um, well, afternoon, afternoon sunshine 
it is not 100% super bright anymore but we've got no clouds at the moment so better hurry up and stop talking so if we see more than 2 amps here 2.2 amps that was the problem the diodes are the problem then definitely i'm so excited <sighs> right okay i'll put you on my clamp here so you can watch so very nice and straight so you can see no voltage as soon as i connect the cable now you will see a voltage there this is the no load the open circuit voltage and then we should see the current um yeah not far off then okay oh my god all right three two one cable is in what do we have 78 volts what about the current what about the current i'm tightening the screw i can't watch both okay no current yet please 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 go over two amps ah, two 4.3 4.3 amps did you see that look at this we fixed it we fixed it guys 72 volts it's still going up and down sensing the power point 4.3 amps and 5 amps is maximum of these panels holy shit, we fixed it it is fixed it's the diodes i'm delivering 4.8 from one string only from two panels 4.8 amps into the battery this was all nine panels before we're getting 250 watts from these two panels 3.9 far 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 more and better result than before 65 volts 65 volts we have 3.8 amps <laughs> <laughs> guys we fixed it <laughs> i can't believe it i can't believe it i'm so excited what do we have uh current at p max 5.2 amps so 5.2 would be under ideal conditions 1000 watts per square meter uh 25 degrees and, and all this kind of rubbish well we definitely have afternoon sun now we've got i don't know how is it three o'clock or something maybe it's still super bright but it's not like you know midsummer sun thousand watts that's probably not and i haven't cleaned these panels yet and they are hot you can actually measure the temperature of these panels because you always said oh your panels are too hot they are too hot that is not hot okay let's see how much we have 54 degrees only that's nothing yeah 54 degrees that's nothing thumbnail we need to do a thumbnail here oh i'm shedding the panel <laughs> <laughs> oh it is fixed it is fixed i can't believe it look at this 4.1 amps we are pulling 4.1 amps and 70 volts 36.6 so 73 volts is the optimal maximum power point and we are running about nine volts below that it is fixed we found it finally guys many of you have stated check the diodes you were right but you're wrong because you didn't say why i should check them you always have to state why you think this is so i have made all the tests i took all these bloody junction boxes apart and measured all the diodes and now i have to order diodes what i'm just thinking is i'm a little bit scared now because one of the panels up there is the one from our house and if this one has faulty diodes as well i've got 27 panels up there it'll be a lot of work i need some help then from you guys so whoever lives in this area here needs to come over for a meat free barbecue beer and then we replace all the diodes in these cells in these panels but that's a project for later on at the moment <sighs> i can't believe it i can't believe it's fixed look at this late afternoon 4.1 amps that is insane that is so good so the panels seem to be all right they seem to be fine but the diodes have died how can this happen lightning strikes in the neighborhood somewhere could be something over voltage of the diodes make them reverse conducting 
Who knows? It doesn't matter as long as we found it. I can work on it. I can order these diodes in. We can solder them onto these heat heat um, onto these heat sinks here. This is like acting like a heat sink. That's why it's so much metal there for these diodes. And then we can put all the panels on the roof here and have so much power. Then, <sighs> all right, guys. Thank you so so much for all your help. All your comments, all your suggestions, all your assumptions, all your estimations, <laughs> and everything else. All the beer donations, which helped a lot, actually. And as always, guys, you stay charged, stay safe, please. And we shall see us again in the next video, coming out very soon. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I think I'm cracking a beer now and celebrate. That is so good news, right? Look at this, four amps. Yeah, it's three o'clock. Unbelievable. We found it. Unbelievable. All right, guys. See you in the next one. See you then. Bye bye. I'm totally wrong. It's not the diode. It's not the diode. It's not the diet.